Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, January 26th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with somebody and encourage someone. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of all of our praise, all of our thanksgiving, and all of our worship. We've been studying the past couple of weeks on this verse in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 19. It says, If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. And we've been studying people that has been willing and obedient and has eaten the good of the land. And we've also been studying people who has not been willing and obedient and have not eaten from the good of the land. And today we're going to take a look at a story in the book of Acts, chapter number 8. And it's going to be verses 26 through 38. Scripture says, and the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning, and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet, and the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read, of the, read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read was this, He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, like a lamb, dumb, before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his, his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip, and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began to preach, or began at the same scripture, and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came to a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down, both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized him. Friend, this is an awesome story, and there's a lot of different things that we can take and we can learn from this story. But the one thing that I want us to, to really focus on is the thought of, are you following the Spirit's leading? Are you following the Spirit's leading? Different times when you study in scriptures, like you could go back into the Old Testament and look at Abraham. When, when God told him to leave, he didn't tell him where he was going to go. He just said, in Genesis chapter 12, I believe it is, he had just told Abraham to go to a country that I will show you. So it took faith on Abraham's part to go because God didn't give him traveling directions. Here in Acts chapter 8, we see the Spirit again saying unto Philip this time, giving him a direction to go. He's telling him to go south on the road that goes down into Gaza. And Philip went. He was obedient to that. What if Philip would not have been obedient? What if Philip would have went to the north or went to the east? What if he just would have stayed where he was? Would this Ethiopian man have had the opportunity he had to, to gain knowledge of the scripture, to accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior, to be baptized? Would he have had that opportunity? I believe that God's will will be done no matter what we do. But if we fail to heed God's leading, if we fail to follow the Spirit's tempting, and their prompting rather, to follow what the Spirit tells us to do, if we fail to do that, then I believe we're going to miss a great big blessing that we can have. Philip had the blessing of leading this man to Christ, having a new brother in Christ, and baptizing him. Friends, people aren't always going to come up to us and ask us to help them with scriptures. 
But they do expect us, and I believe it's a rightful expectation, for us to be there when we when they're needed. Have you ever been been going through your day and and feel feel like you should have talked to somebody about God? Or should have should have talked to somebody about your faith? Do you follow that leading when, when that happens? Twice in these verses, the Spirit tells Philip to go, and then he tells Philip to go alongside that chariot. And Philip was obedient. Are you willing today to follow the Spirit's leading? Philip did that, and he was willing and he was obedient to do what God called him to do. Are you doing that today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.